Welcome to Casting Cajun. I'm your host, Tony Fondo. Fishing out of Jugs Landing in Terrio, Louisiana today with Captain Bill Lake. Also fishing alongside of us is Captain Brady Jurwa and Chris Lake. The plan for today is to catch a nice little mess of speckled trout, run back to the camp, show you how to clean them and how to fry them up. Also how to eat them. So get ready for an exciting half hour with Casting Cajun. Stick the pole right here. A head shaker. First yellow mouth of the day. Not bad. Not bad little fish, fish before the sun come up. That's how we like it. That's it. There he is. That's a good one right there. Nice fish, Captain Bill. <clears throat> good fish right here, Tony. Yes, indeed. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, That's man. That's what we're looking for, baby, right here. Yes, indeed. Nice 18 inch. Start the morning off. Before the sun. You gotta, yeah. get, gotta get up early, Tony, if you want these 18 inch trout, bro. I, I've learned that from fishing with you. And if you want to beat everybody else in the hole. Well, that too. <laughs> Another one, Tony. Another nice little trout. Go 16 incher. Yeah. All right. We're gonna fill up that. We're gonna fill up that brute cooler. Probably before eight o'clock. Fish on for Captain Bill and me. Double a, hookup. A double Captain Bill. A double Captain Bill. I love it, baby. Yeah. Love it. Oh man, Ooh, look at another that! Another, monster. another 18, 19 inch fish. Wow, it makes me want to put top water on. And another. And another. All right, dude. Look at that beautiful sky this morning. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's the way to start it off. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Lord. Tony, get in the back of the boat and throw the corner of those pilings right, right there. That fish on yesterday all over there, too. I know you thought I was gonna fall over, but I was just faking it. Ooh. Darn, what are you throwing? Getting hits every cast right here, dude, and I can't hook them. Oh, huh. a little 14 incher. Another one for the brute cooler. <laughs> Yes, sir. This looks small Ooh. compared to those other ones we caught. Yeah. It's a good fish, though. Oh, yeah. Nothing wrong Nothing with that wrong fish. With that. Temperatures in the mid 60s this morning. Just a light wind. Beautiful, perfect fishing conditions. Captain Bill smoked them here yesterday. Hopefully, we do the same thing today. We've got a front coming in tonight, so it's usually really good right before a front. I'm going to have to come up here and get in oh, your spot. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh yeah, they're so, Fighter. they so energetic, man. Just full of energy, these fish. Look at that, another yes, 18 inch. Yes, indeed. Another oh, they swallowed in there, Captain Bill. They love them, baby. Yeah, this one too. Oh, shucks. They love them. Look at that. All the way down the hatch. Boom. Little blue back swim bait. That's what we've been burning them on every day. I'm getting bumps on this uh, LSU chub also. I 
I was hoping to bust 25, 30 fish right here real quick. I may have to put one of those blue back swim baits on, Captain Bill. Another nice fish. You do that one more time and I'm gonna switch baits. Oh, another beauty. Oh, I love to see that head shake, baby. Yes, indeed, that yellow mouth. Yellow mouth, black spots. That's what we're looking for. Ooh. Tony, you see these fish, how dark? See how dark they are? Yeah. These fish are moving out of the out of the marsh where they've been spending the whole winter, and they migrating south. It's like they they're got, getting full of eggs also. They are. All the fish we cleaned yesterday were full of eggs, and uh, these fish have to get to higher salinity to lay their eggs because the salt content's not high enough up in these, these inland lakes and stuff. The Brackish, fish, yeah. The fish, the fish we catching right here today, in a week, they'll be gone. They'll be south. So you gotta get them while, while you can. Get them while it's hot. I tell you what, that Bill Lake can fish. The trout master. And All also right. Mr. Personality. Oh man. That's how I like to catch and release them. Catch and them as in the boat. As long as you release them in the boat. Catch and release them in the boat. Captain B with a fish on. I'm Captain Brady. Let's go, Dead Eye. Are we having fun yet? I'm, doing, I'm putting Tony? one of those baits like you're using. What do you mean, what oh, am I man, doing? Look, you need to stick with that uh, other bait, that, that, that unproductive bait you had on. <laughs> I want to even up the score, buddy. You got a red or a dead trout? Oh my goodness. Another 18 inch fish. Oh, that's beautiful. This is what we call. Measure him on top of that brute cooler when you get dirty. This is what we call a mullet muncher. Mullet muncher? Big pig. Mullet, wow. Mullet munchers. Boy, yeah, that one hooked good. Yeah, he thought that little blue bait was a mullet. Some kind of little mullet. See how dark they are, though? Gorgeous. We're estimating 18. He's exactly 18 and. He's 19. 19. Folks might want to get a pen and paper. After a while, we'll give you Captain Bill's number and his website. Come out here and get you some of this. Blueback swim bait. No better way to spend a morning in tough Louisiana, baby. Reeling in yellow mouths. Yellow mouth. Ooh, looks like they're getting bigger. All right, Tony. Look at that big yellow mouth on that one. Yeah. He's an orthodontist, huh? Boy, he's barely hooked. Another nice, pretty fish. I think that one might go 19. Put 54 of them in the boat here yesterday morning in about 30 minutes. We got a falling tide right at daylight, and unfortunately, it turns around about 7 o'clock and starts coming in. And that really kills the bite. When uh, when the tide changes, it's it's over. That's what happened yesterday, and it's going to be changing real well. It's still barely going out right now, but it's going to be over with in about really? half so, hour. This is just a, a a quick little spot in the morning. Put you ten or twelve nice fish in a boat, sometimes fifteen, and then you move on. But, you know. But usually with the barometric pressures falling, the fish bite when it, well, regardless of the tide or not really. That's what the old timers say. That's what the old timers say. That's what I thought. But, and uh, I am pretty old. But. We don't really worry about that too much. We just go fishing. Just we go don't fishing. care what's happening with the pressure or the moon and all that. You know, people say, hey, man, you got a full moon. Like last week, people were telling me, man, don't even go fishing. We go out and catch 90 trout by Yeah, I like to fish when it's a full moon. You know? Oh, that's a nice one. <clears throat> nice. Oh, oh fish yeah. On. Another nice little trout. Fish on over here too. All right, Tony. Ooh, yeah. Yes. Nice. 18 nice. incher. I got a good one over here. Nice fish. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah, ever since I put the same bait that you're using, 
trying to give me trying to get me to use different bait while he's pulling in fish. Don't use your teeth to cut your line. Your dinner's still fuss. Fish, the bait was good for one fish. That was an expensive fish. One fish on this bait. That's the way he was hooked. Shake that head, baby. Shake that head. Music to my ears, man. That, 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 that. You're getting a little smaller there, Tony. Yeah, this it's okay. probably only about 15 inches. Yeah, only. Still don't have to measure. You know. A lot of people are just chasing birds right now, catching 12-inch fish. Well, we don't uh, we don't chase them <coughs> birds except if it's a, just a last resort. If we're yeah. having a really bad day, we're not too proud if that's all that works. No, but you know, you chase the birds, you very seldom ever get it any real nice fish. Right. Right now, there's a lot of gaff tops mixed in with them. Oh yeah. It's and a pain. I mean, not worth it unless you have. It ain't. To. Stick to the reefs. You catch bigger fish, you may not catch the numbers, but I mean, if you catch 35 or 40, 18 inch fish, I don't think anybody's gonna complain about that. No. Oftentimes you hear me say, I like to fish with people who are better than me. That's the best way to learn, the quickest way to learn new techniques and reasons to fish certain spots. And one thing I've learned from Captain Bill, when you get on the trout, instead of keeping your trolling motor running, Stop the trolling motor, put the power pole down. A lot of times you run them off by running your trolling motor. So there's a tip for you. Well, we got a nice little mess of fish, more than enough for our meal. We're gonna head back to the camp, show you how it's done. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Captain Brady and Captain Bill are using two different techniques to clean trout. Captain Brady's gonna show you how it's done with an electric knife, and Captain Bill's gonna show you the old fashioned way. I still clean. I still clean my fish the old-fashioned way. Don't believe in an electric knife. Been doing it that way for years, and I'm getting too old to change. Go ahead and get right behind the gills here. Uh, try to get as much meat as you can behind the head. Run that backbone, like so. Be careful not to cut your hand. Yeah, be careful not to cut your hand. Take that fillet off. Cut out the ribs, and we're good to go. Looks like you've done that a time or two, Captain Bill. I've cleaned more than my share. I think you've cleaned more than 10 people's share. And that's it. The way Captain Brady does it is how I normally do it. Sometime when I'm not in a hurry, I'll do it similar to the way Bill did, a little bit different. But uh, to me, this is the fastest way, the easiest. What I do is I start back here by the butt, as you would call it, go down a little bit, and get underneath that belly and throat, and run it all the way towards the head, and then roll it around this side, follow that rib backbone down, in order for it to work really great, the fish need to be iced up good and heavy to where they're cold and not mushy. I find speckled trout are, well, most fish, but especially speckled trout, it's always better to ice them down for a little while before you try to clean them. Makes the meat a lot firmer. And sometimes you will get the fin, top fin in there, just roll it out. Beautiful. And you avoid having to go through all that stomach and bloat and everything. That's how it's done. Next, we're gonna take you inside and show them how Captain Bill fries them up. All right, we're starting off with some nice pretty fillets that uh, Tony and I caught this morning. Can't get it no fresher than that. Uh, everybody fries fish differently, but uh, I like to cut them in strips. That way they fry quick and easy. Wow, that is gonna be. And uh, come out pretty crispy. Crispy critters. All right, we keep keep it pretty simple. Just use three ingredients. Little Tony Sasseries, 
Just coat the fillets real good. And we got Louisiana hot. Pretty good stuff. Apply liberally. Yeah. Put a little mustard, just for taste. Just a little, little swirl. Keep it simple. And we'll make a little wash with it. Both Captain Bill and I agree it's best to use peanut oil because you have a much higher smoke point. All right, now we're going to pass it in some good old fashioned Zatarans. Lemon pepper fish fry. Soak them up real good where everything's covered evenly. Dump it in the basket. Usually they'll come up floating and you know they're ready. Drop that in. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Got a little appetizer for y'all. Nice, Captain. Golden Bill. brown, freshly caught speckled trout. Right out of Lake Michon this morning. Can't get no better than that. These were swimming two or three hours ago. Now, here goes the test. Looks really good, but I'm going to tell the truth. Doesn't taste good, you'll know about it. Five stars, Captain Bill. Best speckled trout fillet you ever had. Help your mouth. Very good. Well, we had a great couple hours of fishing. Caught a mess of fish. Captain Bill showed you how to clean them, and Captain Brady. And Captain Bill also showed us how to cook them, and we showed you how to eat them. Captain Bill, this is a beautiful lodge you have here. Very comfortable, right on the water. Tell the folks how to get in touch with you and tell us a little bit about your accommodations. Well, we offer a three, <clears throat> three bedroom, two bath fishing lodge. We have all the amenities of home, full kitchen, pots and pans, utensils, linens, towels, anything you want, it's here. Uh, we've been operating here about three years now and uh, if you'd like to book a charter with me, you can reach me on my cell phone at 985-637 3712, or you can find me on the internet, www.captainlake.com. And you saw Captain Brady Jirwa also on the show with us today. He has Cajun Waters Fishing Charters. You can get a trip with him through Captain Bill, or you can call him direct. Does a great job. I want to thank Chris for helping us catch some fish also. also. Captain Bill's son. Oh, as always, I want to give a special thanks to our military, our active troops, and our veterans. If you love your freedom, thank a vet. And until next time, keep, keep on, on casting. casting.